This is Figma to Webflow, an entire course that starts the design and development process from the very beginning. If you've used some of these tools before, you're going to feel right at home. But if this is your first time using Figma or Cinema 4D, After Effects or Webflow, we'll be here every step along the way, sharing every part of the process with you. Now, this is a workflow we often use for design and development. But in the end, there are tons of options. So we'll encourage different practices, different ways of thinking, so you can choose what works best for you, whether you're a freelancer, an agency rapidly growing, or even someone at a huge organization who's looking to explore how we go about some of these things. And right now, we'll break down each stage of this course by real output, tangible deliverables. So many times with learning something, we just end up passively absorbing parts of it, like watching a cooking show without ever really cooking something. And we're doing this to be really clear about the deliverables. We don't want the output to be spent two hours learning this or spent four hours learning that. We want the thing we're leaving with, the actual deliverable. So we'll start in Figma from scratch, from the beginning, and we'll build and iterate on our design phase. What is the output? The deliverable will finish this first part with a mid-fidelity site design, which will be our main reference. But that's just the beginning, because then we'll go into Cinema 4D and do all of the industrial design, the product design work, again, from scratch. And if you're following along in Blender, or Maya, or 3ds Max, you'll see so many of the same principles apply across all different kinds of tools. We're using Cinema 4D here because it happens to be what we use. But there's so many tools that can do these same things. The output here is going to be an animated product render. After that, we'll go into Adobe After Effects. This will let us take that product render, set it up as a composition, and export that using a free extension called Body Moving. See, everyone's telling you it's Body Moving. I've, I can't, I... People have to call you on set to correct you. Know you. I have no idea what you're talking about. There's no G at the end. It's literally... Body Moving. Then we're going to take everything we've built, the Figma reference, all of our renders from Cinema 4D, the exported After Effects composition, and we'll develop the full site in Webflow. And while this will be done visually, we're building using the same HTML and the same CSS properties that are used by engineers at Apple and Stripe and Google. So if you're pretty familiar with front-end development, this will be quick. And if you're not, we'll get you up to speed starting from scratch and ending with a full website, a fully developed site ready to go. Finally, we'll publish the site to the main.com and share it with the world. Now, People might say, Figma to Webflow, that's two tools. Why are you using 30? Can we just use Figma and Webflow and skip Cinema 4D and After Effects? Sure, you can skip right from Figma to Webflow and just use the assets we've included. We just find some of the most interesting and some of the most practical parts of the process are in developing the assets that are used for a website. Now, whatever route you take, these are what we call the core lessons of the course, but there's actually something else. Now, we said every step of the way, that means <laughs> along the way. What's up, Grimmer? You said every step along the way. Every step of the way. No, that's what you said now, but earlier. The steps along the way. Every step of the way. I think you said journey. Never said journey. I'm going to be honest. Please. I wasn't really paying attention. For every step of the way along your journey, we included full bonus lessons. These cover everything from industrial design composition, asset prep, vignetting and compression in Photoshop, noise reduction, and even the steps to install and configure Octane Renderer in Cinema 4D. Now, as always, we put a lot of these lessons up on YouTube, but we always launch the full thing, all of these, including the bonus lessons, we launch first on Webflow University. So check out the full course there, 100% free, 100% yours to explore the full thing now. Sara? Thanks, McGuire. Something that really works for us is accountability. So at the end of each core lesson, we will be sharing a challenge. If you follow along with this course, share that or share your own Figma work, your own 3D designs or After Effects animations or Webflow sites. We are here to celebrate that progress, all of this on social using hashtag Figma to Webflow. And here's why. Sharing work encourages accountability and it lets us highlight some of the great work in the community. So we are excited to see what you design and what you build. Back to you, McGuire. Thank you, Sara. But that's the overview, what to expect from this course. At the end of all of this, we're going to wrap up with final thoughts and a summary of what we've learned along the way. With that being said, let's get started on the journey from Figma to Webflow.